Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for checking out today's video. I am stoked for this one. <sighs> I got some fall stuff. I got some fall goodies. Um, I am not a fall winter gal. Um, a lot of you probably already know that. Spring summer is my jam. Spring is actually my favorite season and I just love anything fruity, candy, fresh, clean. So spring, summer is kind of my vibe. Having said that, I have been making a real effort um, the past few years to uh, sort of try a few more fall type fragrances um, when it's appropriate. I am <laughs> learning to enjoy uh, bakery type scents in small doses if it's done well. I am just not that pumpkin spice gal. I probably never will be. And that's okay. Having said that, um, it's been a long time since I've hauled a lot of wax that is new to me. And that's why I'm excited for this. Um, I got two six packs in this haul. You'll see, I'll go through everything. Um, <laughs> almost everything is new to me. There's a few here that I love and that's why I reordered, but yeah um it's a very interesting order most of this is for me um and a little bit is for a customer slash friend of mine and i'll i'll tell you about that stuff when we get to it um i <laughs> totally spoiled myself here and i'm gonna save that part for the end of the video i apologize that i am a hot mess i literally just got home from work i uh this package was delivered while I was at work today. I'm a hot sweaty mess and I know you guys don't care what I look like and I was just too excited to like do myself up for a video. So I literally uh, emptied the box and started filming because I didn't want you guys have to have to hear all the messy, loud packaging stuff. So um, as always, I have unpacked everything at least um, packing paper wise to uh, sort of limit the amount of background background noise but yeah so let's get into it I am super excited uh, first up for my friend slash customer um, I believe this was in the clearance section she ordered the fragrance flower this was definitely in clearance she got a really good deal on this as I recall I want to say it was like 16 something Canadian this is the fragrance flower in toasted acorn and oak, which honestly, I've never smelled, but I have a feeling I probably would like it. Um, and she got it in the buttercup bell. She really likes the fragrance flowers. So that's for her. And then we both, we're gonna give it one more go guys, the, the car fragrance. So this is the new fragrance system um, in the new catalog. It's not necessarily something that has to be used in a car, but um, y'all know I've been kind of bitching for a while about Sensi's car products. I think that the quality has declined significantly to the point where I've, I'm ready to stop purchasing any and all of it. So, um, but Sensi came out with this product called the Travel Twist. I'm such a terrible consultant. I'm not a consultant. I am, but I'm not. Um, I didn't even know this was a thing. Like, I remember when the new catalog was released, I was all over it. Uh, checked it out, like, immediately. And I don't know how I missed these. Um, yeah, so I kind of feel like these are taking over for the travel tins. For those of you who remember what the travel tins were. I actually used to use the travel tins early on when I first started enjoying Sunsea. But again, the strength and throw was kind of crap for what I was paying for them. So I would only get them on sale. Actually, Sensi used to have in the bundle and save section, which used to be called combine and save, if I recall correctly, they had a deal where you could like try several products. It was, if I recall, a travel tin, a rim spray, scent pack maybe, and there was something else. So I would do that deal to try to try new products that I wouldn't pay full price for otherwise. So I had used quite a few of the travel tins and I just, I couldn't justify them. But I kind of get a feeling that that's what these are like in that, oh, I can smell this already. So this is Luna. Um, this one is not for me, although I love Luna. You guys know that. Um, 
yeah, so you like crank it to open it. It is actually really cute. It's quite cute. This is not a cheap piece of plastic, hence the price. Uh, I think these were nine bucks each, eight or nine bucks, too much. And that's what the other side looks like. So yeah, I, I think you just twist this, see, and it kind of opens to let out fragrance. So you can kind of keep it a little closed, a little open, wide open, whatever you want. So um, this is for my friend. It's funny how fragrances smell different in different products. Like, ah. Uh, it's similar to Luna. Definitely smells different than the wax. So I hope she likes that because it wasn't cheap. And then we each got a travel twist um, in Cozy Cardigan. I wanted to try a travel twist just to see how it does. Um, at first I was like, I'm just, I'll get a six pack. Do they have it in the six pack? But then I thought, you know what? No, don't do that. I actually don't think they have it in the six pack. Um, but even if they did, it's like, what if I don't like it? And then I'm stuck with six of them because they're not cheap. So I'm going to smell this just because I actually have cozy cardigan warming in my bedroom as we speak. So the scent is fresh in my mind. I hope this smells closer to cozy cardigan than that Luna does. Oh yeah. This is like, <sighs> Smells like suede. Oh, I'm stoked to put this in my car. I'll either put it, uh, I'll either run it down tonight or I'll put it in before I go to work tomorrow morning. It actually smells, I don't wanna say strong, but I have high hopes. Have any of you used these yet? If you have, leave a comment below, let me know what I'm in for. I'm sure it depends on the scent, um, like most products, but yeah. Hmm. For the price, I sure hope I get something from it. Okay, um, I ended up, so in my next club order, which is coming September, I had this in there. And then at the last minute I was like, well, I'm paying for shipping anyway. So why don't I get this with my fall order, which is my beloved Scent Soft in Black Raspberry Vanilla. I recently hauled the washer whiffs in this scent. I like to pair them together, you all know that. I'm currently using um, clothesline in the washer whiffs and the scent soft. And I like to go back and forth because I don't like getting nose blind. But I find clothesline and black raspberry vanilla to be the strongest scents in laundry um, as far as what we have right now. So yeah, I keep going back and forth between those two. But yeah, so I decided to throw this in there. Yes, I could have gotten it for 10% off if I had thrown it in my club. But I think originally I had this as my half price item in my club. And I thought, well, that's silly because this is, <clears throat> I want to say $21 Canadian, too much. Um, and I'd rather use my half price item for something that's worth more than that, if that makes sense. So I threw it in there because I was, if I'm paying for shipping anyway, you guys know I hate paying for shipping. I hate it. <laughs> and Sensi ship shipping isn't cheap. Um, and they've just increased it as I'm sure many of you are aware, so. Um, let's talk wax, shall we? This is the most important, well not important maybe, but the most exciting part for me. As I said, uh, two six packs, um, one bar is for my friend and she got one of my beloveds. Autumn road trip. This to me is dang near a dupe for Bath and Body Works Autumn, which is my all time. I just threw it on the floor. Is there any chance I can pick that up without knocking the camera over? Probably not. Cross your fingers, toes, nine. Ha ha, I did it. Yeah, so I find this to be pretty close to a dupe for Autumn, which is my all time favorite fall fragrance. This just has a little less apple. So I like to mix this with Johnny Appleseed to make my own autumn when I burn my autumn candles. <sighs> I love this scent. It is apple picking on a crisp fall day. <sighs> I just, I do like to amp up the apple. I do like to add a little more apple scent. It's great, it's so good. So yeah, she likes that so um, she was excited that it came back. I was obviously excited as well. I had it in my club, so I was fine either way, but yeah. And everything else that's here is for me. Let's quickly just talk about bars that I have that I have smelled before, and then we'll talk about the exciting stuff. I have smelled this. That's new, 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 new. Oh, 
so much newness. Okay. And, oh, ooh, okay. Sorry, I'm excited. I feel like I waited for this order for a really long time, so I'm stoked. Okay, um, this is a new release, I wanna say last fall, winter. I'm sorry if these are showing up backwards. When I'm in front of the camera, which is rare, I don't like filming this way. Um, I'm just not comfortable filming this way, <laughs> you can't tell. I never know if the labels are gonna be backwards when I film in front of the camera versus when my hand is behind the camera. So if it is backwards, I'm sorry. Um, Graham Cracker Crunch. I feel like this is a dupe for Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Peanut Brittle, which did not get released last summer. What the hell? Word on the street is it may come back this year, so I'm pretty stoked for that. I really hope it does come back. I love that candle. I've loved it since it was released, but that's essentially what I feel like this is. It does smell like peanut butter and graham crackers. It smells like those pirate cookies a little bit. Sweet, a little salty because of the peanut butter. This one is a good performer too, as I recall. This is a bakery scent I can get behind because it's bakery, it's sweet, um, but it's not spicy. It's not pumpkin. It's so good. Yeah, I'm stoked for that. I was glad it came back. I think I actually had this in my club for a bit and then I took it out because I was like, they're going to bring it back. And you know what? If they don't, I will live. <laughs> um, every year at, at, during the holidays, pretty sure I have one of these in my backup stash from last year. I usually try to always have one on hand for the following season. Very Merry Curranberry. This is probably my all-time favorite cranberry fragrance from Sunsy. I usually warm this the week of Christmas or the week before. And I like to warm this with my favorite cranberry candle from BBW, which is Cranberry Woods. This does have like a slight cinnamon vibe in the background, but I can deal with it. It's very sweet tart cranberry, I love it. I do wish this one was stronger, but it's just, I, I always have to have this in the house for the holidays, love. And then a newer love to me. I wanna say that this, this was released either last fall, winter, or the year before. It has not been around for a long time, but I do love it. The Dancing Sugar Plums. This, um, this scent was available in the clearance section in body care for a bit. And I was so on the fence because I think this would be great in body care, but I just, even on clearance, it's, it's hard for me to justify the prices of Sensi's body care. Um, yeah, I usually wait for like a flash sale or like something even better than like 20% off because it's just so pricey. Now, Dancing Sugar Plums is sort of described as being like a spicier fragrance, which again, not my thing, but I love this scent. This is not the strongest scent. Yeah, there's definitely... Okay. Interesting. This smells spicier than I ever recall, and it's probably just because I haven't started warming the fall bakery stuff. This is like, if you mixed like a plum fruity scent with Welcome Home. This smells so much more cinnamon heavy than I remember. I'm not disappointed, but, and maybe it'll be different when it's warming. And maybe it's just my memory is a little off, but I mean, I like it. It's, you know what this is reminding me of actually right now, quite a bit is winterberry, winterberry apple tea, which I love. Everybody loves winter, winterberry apple tea. I don't worry about putting that one in my club anymore because I cannot see Sensi not bringing it back. People are nuts for that fragrance. It's good, it's, yeah. Hmm. It just smells different than I remember. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> so excited. <laughs> How odd to have three like baby blue wax bars in a fall wax haul. Doesn't that seem interesting? I kind of want to save these for the end. I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm just into it, guys. Okay, let's talk about, oh, there's this one too, which is kind of baby blue. talk about this one. New release, Cran Apple Crumble. I am wondering if this is going to remind me of the Cran Apple candle again from BBW. But more bakery. Let's see. Oof, that's 
Interesting. Not what I was expecting. It's like a burnt, like a burnt brown sugar or something smell on the bottom. The bottom is reminding me of sweet, sweet plum pastry, which I can't do sweet plum pastry. I know, everyone loves it. I don't. Hmm. I'm not starting off on the best foot here. It just smells like chemicals right now. Again, I find this happens with newly poured bars. You smell more of the clamshell than the, you do the, the oil and the wax. I don't know. Yeah, there's like a burnt sugar scent in here that I don't love. I'll warm it, of course. I'll give it a chance, because that's what I do. Not loving that on cold. I was very excited for this one. Black currant and plum, because I love currant scents and I tend to really enjoy plum scents as well. I'm hoping this is not too spicy. I'm wondering if it's gonna be similar to the uh, Dancing Sugar Plums, is that what it's called? Yeah, I know it's Sugar Plum something. Oh, dang. This reminds me a little bit of, was it Country Plum? I liked that one. It's kind of light. And again, it's a brand new bar, freshly poured, I'm sure. So maybe if it cures a little bit, it'll get stronger. I don't know. I like it. I like it more than the um, Korean apple crumble, I can tell you that. It's just super light, but it's it's not spicy, which is good. It's, um, pretty fresh fruity smelling. So I dig that. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, I think this one might mix really well with Autumn Road Trip. Falling apples. I was torn about whether or not to even try this because I do think I'm gonna pull the trigger at some point and get a brick of Johnny Appleseed. I love Johnny Appleseed. And ever since it became available in the brick in the club, I've been wanting to grab one and I just, end up not doing it because I want to get something else as my half price item but yeah falling apples this is like again I'm sorry I don't have sent notes but um I want to say this is like apple pear ish mm. there's definitely a woodsy note in this interesting there's like a more of like a, a fresh apple vibe on the bottom, which is not what I was expecting. It's kind of like Autumn Road Trip. There's like a fresh air vibe, similar to Autumn Road Trip. Obviously an apple peel kind of vibe. I do feel like there might be a little bit of spice in this though. Hmm. It's a very interesting color. I think I will try this on its own just to kind of get a feel for it but I will probably also mix a little bit with one of my bars in my stash of Autumn Road Trip. I had built up quite a stash of those. That's why I didn't get myself any in this haul. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have a few in my collection. So interesting. White, Amber, and Silk. I feel like I'm either gonna love this or hate it. I'm hoping that this is a beautiful bedroom bathroom type scent. Um, I pulled the trigger on this based on another YouTuber that hauled it and was raving about the scent. It just sounded, they made it sound amazing. So I thought, whatever, I'll try one bar. And then I'll drop it on the floor while filming because I'm a mess. And because I don't know how to edit, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, white, amber, and silk. Again, not what I was expecting. Is it silk? White, amber, and silk. Hmm. It's light. Kind of perfumey. Almost soapy. Mm. It's super light. Like it's really hard for me to like describe what I'm getting here. 
yeah, just like light perfumey. I don't know what amber smells like. I feel like it's a scent note that's pretty common in products and I, I don't, I need to just smell. What does amber smell like? Yeah, it's like, it's pretty perfumey. I don't know, I'll give it a go. I don't dislike it, I'm not obsessed. Okay, now we have the four bluish bars left. One is the scent of the month, I believe, which is, yeah, I think this is the scent of the month for August, Glacier Water. I'm hoping this has Atlantic Air vibes. And again, I've seen other YouTubers talk about the scent and they, I kind of get the impression it's gonna have Atlantic Air vibes. So y'all know how I feel about that scent. Actually, I have an Atlantic Air car bar in my car as we speak, which I guess I'll be waiting for that to die out before I try that travel twist. I just realized that. Anyway, I'm a diehard Atlantic Air fan. <laughs> Always have been. Um, this is similar in color. The scent notes did kind of give me the same like vibe. So let's see. I doubt that I will like it more than Atlantic Air, but. Hmm. This is a very sophisticated scent. There's a lot to it. Kind of perfumey, kind of fresh, kind of floral. I definitely like Atlantic Air more on cold, but that doesn't mean I won't love it warming. I like it. I do really like it. It's, there's something in this that reminds me of Arctic Kiss, which I did not love. And again, everybody loves it. Arctic Kiss. It's just me. There's something in it that, that bugs me. This kind of has a similar vibe. I can't see this being like club worthy for me, but I do like it. I feel like I should warm this soon because I just have a feeling that this is going to be one of those scents that's very different when it's warming because it has so much going on. Okay. Um, let's try Frosted Vanilla. I feel like this is supposed to be very similar to Olaf. Was it Olaf Warm Hugs? Is that what it was called? I think so, which was like a vanilla woods kind of scent. I was not obsessed with that bar. It was okay. In fact, I might even still have one in my collection. I had two bars at one point thinking I would love it, but then I didn't. Yeah, so let's see. Oh, dang. <laughs> hmm. Is there clove in this? I hate clove. <laughs> this is interesting. It's kind of cologne-like. I don't really get vanilla necessarily. It's a little stronger on cold than the last few, so that's good. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm not making these bars sound amazing. Yeah, that was, uh, it's just not what I expected. Um, this is not new, but I always wanted to try it. It was in the holiday brick co collection last winter, last like Christmas. Fluffy fleece. This one had really mixed reviews in the um, brick. Look at that label. That is freaking cute. Yeah, I feel like this has, um, like laundry vibes just based on what I've seen other YouTubers say and maybe Blackberry in it or something. I can't remember. I'm sorry. And my iPad is broken, so I can't really look up uh, scent notes right now. Hmm. This is interesting. It definitely has a laundry vibe without being like clothesline or um, what's the other one? The Scentsy Clean scent. I can picture the, the clamshell. Clean breeze. It definitely has a laundry vibe without being, it's weird. Um, it actually reminds me of fleece. If a smell could be fuzzy, this smells fuzzy. Oh, I think I really like this. 
Maybe I should have got gotten a brick of it. Mm hmm. Okay, maybe I'm really happy that this is in the catalog and I get to enjoy it. It's very interesting. It does. It smells like a fluffy blanket without being just straight laundry. Hmm. I'm excited for that one. Fluffy fleece. Super cute label too. Um, last but not least, and I purposely saved this bar for last, Velvet Moon. The scent notes on this just sounded like Luna. Like in, like, I'm saying like a lot. Um, like the vibe of Luna, that like hard to describe, beautiful, perfumey, amazingness. Um, I remember reading the notes for this and then seeing YouTubers talk about it and describe it and describe what they smell and thinking, is this going to be my new Luna? But I also thought that about, um, Summer Moonlight, which was a new release this spring, summer, and I... <laughs> In fact, I never even ended up reviewing it on this channel now that I think about it because I disliked it so much I gave the bar away. So I didn't have an empty to talk about. But I did not like Summer Moonlight, so I'll just tell you right now. I thought it was gonna have a vibe similar to Luna and I did not like it. So I'm hoping for better luck from Velvet Moon. Let's see. Again, I'm sorry I don't have the notes, but. Hmm. Again just like super different and interesting. This also has kind of like a soapy clean vibe. This has more of an Atlantic air vibe to me than the glacier water did. There's definitely like a um, airy, like ozone note in here. Velvet moon. Oh yeah. So hard to describe, like Luna. I'm gonna warm it up a bit and see what I can get. It's pretty, it's perfumey. It's kind of feminine, but not like cozy cardigan feminine. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's light. Hmm, I, I, yeah, that and the fluffy fleece might be really nice together. Yeah. Has anyone warmed these together? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'm definitely going to try mixing those because those would go really, really well together. Okay, so. Not disappointed. Um by all the newness that I got. Again, stay tuned for like warm reviews because um, often I have a very different experience when I'm warming a scent than smelling it on cold. So stay tuned for my empties. Uh, last but not least, I, <laughs> some of you will not be surprised to see that I got this. Should have got it when it was on sale for 10% off but you know what I thought I'm going to use my Sensi Pay to treat myself so I got another one don't judge me they're so pretty the bubbled iridescent warmer um I got one it was obviously the warmer of the month was it May June something like that it's probably my favorite warmer now um yeah so I had mentioned when I hauled it how much I loved it and then I mentioned in a couple other videos I think that I just really wanted another one because I wanted a set I wanted one for either side of my um tv in my living room because I just love it that much and I like having sets um so currently I have my, the one that I have do I have a colored bulb in it no, I think I tried the color, co colored bulb and ended up going back to a clear one. Um, but anyway, on the one side of my TV and then on the other side of my TV, I have probably my second favorite warmer, which is my Stargaze with a blue bulb. If you have Stargaze, try it with a blue bulb. 
I like it with the purple bulb as well, but the purple bulb, um, sorry, I thought the warmer sitting next to me had a purple bulb, but it's blue. Um, the purple Scentsy light bulb is so dark that it almost ends up looking not lit up. So in the stargaze, it just didn't do it justice, but it's beautiful. So that's what I have on either side of my TV. I'm going to replace the stargaze with this so that I have the bubbled ultraviolet on either side of my TV. And then I need to find a new home for my beloved stargaze, but something tells me I'll figure it out. <laughs> the problem is, is that I have a very tiny home and I have too many warmers. So yeah, I'm really excited to set this up. <laughs> um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram and such, I will probably post a video or a photo um, showing both of them set up at some point. So check that out. But uh, yeah, I love, love this warmer. I always pretty much put four cubes in and it's four is the maximum. I wasn't planning on unboxing this, but here I am 30 minutes into the video talking your ear off. Oh, it's so pretty throwing things on the floor. There she is. It's just so pretty and they're little. Like this, this warmer is not huge. So I think it's a good warmer to have, you know, matching one on either side. So stoked. Yeah. So that is my big ol' fall haul. Yeah. Lots of uh, exciting stuff here to use. I'm excited. I uh, got a lot of recycling to do here. What do you guys think? Um, have you started warming any of the new stuff? Leave me a comment below. I would love to know. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Hit the notification bell as well. That way you will not miss any upcoming content. Um, I suspect, where are we at here? End of August. I do not understand where time is going. I, it's like I blinked and summer was over. Um, yeah, so I suspect the next video... Oh, actually, I guess the next video you'll see for me is my August Home Fragrance Empties Part 2. So that'll probably be up in the next couple of weeks. And aside from that, the only other video I have plans to film will be my um, Scentsy Club haul for September. I did end up merging my clubs, so now I only have one club again, and it's a quarterly, and it's a big one. So, But at least that way I'm only paying for shipping um, the one time every three months. And the way I look at it is I can keep doing what I've been doing, and... If I really want like a higher priced item, like a washer whiffs, or um, if I really want a whiff box, because I don't do the, the whiff box on a regular basis, y'all know that, um, I can make that my half priced item by either doing that with my quarterly club, or I can just make a monthly club to get whatever it is I want at the time, get my half priced bougie item, and then cancel it, <laughs> because that's what I do sometimes. So yeah. But yeah, so that'll be the next video you'll see from me. Thanks again. I have kept y'all long enough. That was a long ass video. I'm sorry. But I know some of you are totally fine with it because you're the best. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all stay safe, happy, healthy. Enjoy what's left of this quick ass summer. Bye, guys. Oh, I almost forgot. Whoa. Hold the phone. I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. <laughs> Bye.